Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm going to do a quick wrap up video for you guys. This is in no particular order because I don't even remember what order I read these in. First up we have Meet Me at the Intersection. This is a Own Voices Australian anthology. It is amazing and I really really loved it. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. I'm not usually a fan of anthologies and that is because I always tend to like some stories and hope they go on longer than what they actually do and I also think that it's really hard to fill a book with like loads of different stories and not have me like compare them a little bit like some of them I didn't like as much as others so it makes me struggle to read some of them um but I think that's probably just my own preferences but definitely everything I said about this was amazing I had so many emotions by the end of this book and it's just fantastic um it does have a bunch of different stories so there's not much more that I can say about it but this is basically a diverse book that's due people of first nations people of color LGBTQ IA plus and people living with disability and it's told in different memoirs it's told in poems and it's told in short stories you guys should definitely pick it up it was really enjoyable plus it is going to be the Dimmick Joondle Up book club of the month book and I think by the time I post this the club has already been so I'm not spoiling anything so definitely take a read of it and let me know your thoughts. Pages and Co Tilly and the Book Wanderers by Anna James. So this basically follows a young girl called Tilly and Tilly lives in her grandparents bookstore with them. Her mother went missing soon after that she was born and her father was never really on the scene. No one really knows much about him and Tilly one day finds a box of her mother's old books so when she starts reading them she realizes that she can start to see different characters from the stories and then she discovers that she is a book wanderer which means that she can wander into books and pull characters from the stories which is so so cool and so she starts to learn a lot of different things about book wandering including that there might be a mystery behind her mother's disappearance it is honestly such a sweet sweet novel with these like really pure characters and they're all so kind and lovely and it's to do with books so if you want to read a book that's about books this is perfect plus it's got a character called Tilly in it so it's like amazing so I gave this one five out of five stars it wasn't as like action-packed or anything as the books that I read now but it was such a sweet story and it's perfect for kids and anyone who wants to read a book that's basically about me but my parents aren't missing and my grandparents don't own a bookstore I really wish they owned a bookstore. I read Mirage by Samaya Dowd and this was such a refreshing YA book. I haven't been reading a lot of YA lately and I don't know why and this was just exactly what I needed. I zoomed through this book. I loved it so much. So this is a fantasy novel and it follows a young girl called Amani and Amani is like a dreamer. She wants adventure and one day unfortunately that adventure comes and grabs a hold of her, tears her from her family, her friends and her country and basically says your life is no longer your own. You are now going to be the body double for this evil, mean princess that nobody likes. And she has to do it. So she has to step into this queen's shoes sometimes and that also gives her a unique perspective on the world that she's now living in and a few characters that we might get to know as well. So I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. There were a few things in it that were a little bit more predictable but I did, did really, really Enjoy it, and I will continue reading everything from this author. And the last one I've got is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover is like my go-to trashy romance reader, and it definitely worked because it got me out of my reading slump. I went through the book in like a day, and I still don't really know how I feel about it. I think overall, like, I'd probably give it, like... <sighs> A 2.5 or 3 stars out of 5. Don't get me wrong, I read through it and like I liked certain characters in it, but the overall story was like kind of bad. It's hard to also describe this part because I can't spoil it for you guys, but there's something that happens to the main female character and how she's coping with it and what it is that I really liked about the story. But there are a lot of other things that I thought were quite problematic in it that I didn't really like and it all came down to like communication. I hate miscommunication in stories. Wow. The more that I think on it, the more that I didn't enjoy the book, which isn't good. Why? Okay, I'm gonna stop now before I keep on like digging a hole further and further. Um, I will still continue to read every Colleen Hoover book that she brings out, but All Your Perfects was better than Without Merit but still a lot worse than her other books. So those other books that I have read was not as many as I thought I had, but hey, it's books that I've been reading. I'm also currently reading the Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch, and as I pulled that book out, my bookmark slipped out, 
and I hope that I can find where I was in this. I'm really really enjoying it, it's a really cool fantasy book and I hope I'm going to be able to finish it soon because it's also a very big book. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye! Surprise, surprise, I bought more books. Did you guys really expect anything different from me?